Hello, my name is Humair Ahmed, and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer at Dell. Our objectives for this video on the Dell S5000 are 1. To understand the converged topology and benefits, 2. Review the three-step deployment process, and 3. Validate deployment of the S5000. So let's take a look at a converged network topology. This diagram demonstrates utilizing S5000 in NPIV proxy gateway mode with Dell PowerEdge rack servers. The LAN and FCOE traffic come up from the CNA to the Dell S5000 switch, which separates out the LAN and SAN traffic. In this mode, the S5000 never becomes part of the fiber channel fabric and instead simply de encapsulates the fiber channel from the FCOE and sends it to the back end fiber channel switches which in this case happen to be Brocade 6505 fiber channel switches providing the full fabric services such as name server and zoning. In this next diagram, you can see a similar deployment with Dell PowerEdge blade servers. The main difference here is that an MXL or IOA blade switch is configured as a FIP snooping bridge or FCOE transit switch, which simply passes a LAN and FCOE traffic up to the S5000 to separate out and handle. Now let's take a look at a S5000 full fabric or FCF topology. You can see here there are no longer any fiber channel switches connecting to the S5000. The S5000 is connecting directly to the compellent storage array via fiber channel ports. Here the S5000 is providing the full fabric services like the name server and zoning. This is a lab topology we'll discuss. We'll focus on configuration of the Fabric A S5000 switch. Starting from the Dell PowerEdge rack server, I'm running Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. The server is utilizing a 2-port 10 gigabit Ethernet Broadcom 57810 CNA adapter. The converged traffic is represented by gray cables, and they carry both the LAN and FCOE SAN traffic up to the S5000 from the server. You can see the Ethernet and fiber channel traffic break out at the S5000 switch. The LAN traffic is in yellow and is sent out the 40 gigabit Ethernet ports to the Z9000 LAN switches. The S5000 de-encapsulates the fiber channel frames from FCOE and then the FC SAN traffic in purple is sent out the 8 gigabit fiber channel ports of the universal module directly to the fiber channel ports on the Dell Compellent Storage Array controllers. Let's walk through the three steps of the deployment process. 1. Configure CNA. 2. Configure S5000 and three, update or create the appropriate FC zoning and storage information. Here I enable FCOE on my Broadcom 57810 CNA. I'm not using NPAR, but you can now see a virtual FCOE port under each physical port. Now I configure the LAN settings. Here I configure a NIC team with a standby member. Once the NIC team is complete, I configure my LAN IP settings as usual. Here I'll simply enable my MPIO policy. The default MPIO policy in Windows Server 2008 is set to round robin. Next, we configure the Dell S5000 switch. First, configure your typical LAN settings. Second, configure the interface connected CNA as port mode hybrid, as it will carry both tagged and untagged traffic. Third, enable full fabric fiber channel capabilities. Fourth, create the FCOE VLAN. Fifth, create your DCB and FCOE maps and apply them to the respective interfaces. On the left is the Dell S5000 zoning configuration. On the right, I'm using the show FC zone set active command to display the active zones. On a storage area being used, compellent in this case, you typically also have to allow the CNA ports of the respective server access to the relevant storage volume, as I'm doing here. Finally, you can validate that all is good and the end node is logged into the fabric with the show fip snooping enode command. 